Hello, you bunch of fish heads, and welcome back to Pokemon Cursed Black. Which is actually just Pokemon Red that they added Ghost into. And now we're taking on the rock solid gym trainer, Brock. Hello, you. Oh, yeah, do you want to dream big? Do you dare to dream of becoming a Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. No. It's a free service. Let's get happening. The first... What? I said no. No means no. The first Pokemon out in a match is the left of the Pokemon list. And... No. No. Okay. Thank you. That literally does not help me at all. <laughs> Computer Pokemon Gym Leader Brock. Winning trainers. Asshole. Seriously, how does that douchebag manage to get here before we do? Oh, we have our first asshole who wants to fight. Stop right now, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Actually, no, I'm about two steps. It's not that hard to figure out, man. Do, 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, why the hell does Brock hire little kids? Like, seriously, most of the other gyms have adults. It's kind of weird, he would hire like... Just saying. Low kick, that's right, kick him in the balls. Wait, he is a giant ball. Would a giant ball have balls? This question shall keep me up late at night now. Should a giant ball have bars? Bars. Bars. It's super effective. Fergia dude fainted. Gandhi gained 183 experience points. <laughs> Gandhi grew to level 9. Yay, some random stats that I don't care about went up. But you sand true. Nope, I think I'll just spam the same super effective move over and over and over again. That looks like Sandshrew. Sandshrew had a serious case of Down Syndrome. Just... ah, uh, Yeah, I remember this asshole technique. Just lower their accuracy. Do you know what? You, my good sir, have robbed me in the wrong way. Sandshrew, use defense curl. Center defense rose. Curse! Both Sancho is unaffected. You're telling me I can't... Wait, so if I can't use it on Pokemon battles, and if this guy can't be hurt, how am I ever meant to lose a battle? Like, seriously, if I get down to the point where it's a Pokemon battle between trainers, and all I have left is my ghost... And if he can't attack Pokemon trainers, Pokemon, then... I suppose we'll deal with that when it comes to it. Burn. There we go, trained. Darn! Light years is in time in measured distance! Um... Yeah, okay. And here we go, Brock with his tiny eyes. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. <laughs> my my rock hard willpower, among other things, is evident even in my Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. Mm, I got the stuff I use from China. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. <laughs> You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose. Well, yeah, man, you're the first gym leader. How are we meant to beat... Get... Forget it, can we just fight now? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine, then. Show me your breasts, I mean best. Let's do this. Go, Gandhi! Beat the hell out of that rock. I think that's historically accurate, right? That's what Gandhi did. Dude, he just defense curl. 
So when they use defense curl, does he just like tuck his hands in and just lay there like, ah, ah, you can't hurt me. Super effective. But you did use tackle. Oh boy. It's super effective. Those Geodude painted. I wanted to be an actor. I got this job. I bet this game won't even be big. I'm wasting my life. Whoa, he looks pissed. Like, really pissed. Ow. Please don't kill Gandhi. Oh, wow. What? Won't even have to use Ghost. Bah, Onyx. Oh, Onyx fainted. Gandhi gained a fuck ton of experience points. Gandhi go to level 11. Gandhi learned karate chop. <laughs> I have to fight many battles, but now I know how to do this. Player defeated leader Brock. It took you, I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I can pay you with this. The official Pokemon, League Boulder Badge. Pragan received the Boulder Badge from Rod. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the move Flash outside of that. <laughs> The move Flash is my rock hard specialty. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. Dragon got $1,400 for winning. Damn, there's gold to be had in these illegal dog fights. Wait, take this with you. Dragon received the TM39 from Brock. Dragon put the TM39 in the TM case. A TM training technical machine can take it for Pokemon using a TM teacher's move. It contains a Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use, so when you have one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyway, it's TM 49 contains Rock Tomb. It holds balls of balls and lowers its speed. Yay, thank you. Okay, bye, Brock. Yeah, we're getting the hell out of there. Well, see you, losers. I got my badge. Eh? Huh? What? Isn't that. Notice. These have been stealing Pokemon tea and some Mount Moon. Why is there a barrier there? Um. Maybe we have to go to the museum? Do we? Uh, yes, I would like a child's ticket. Right, $50, thank you. Hi, old guy. I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. Uh, wait, don't you guys actually have dragons in your world, like Charizard? Surely you would have got to see his bones sometime. I mean, Pokemon just roaming about, it must just die. Like, fall out of the sky dead. And leave behind skeletons. Which is a good point. You never come across any dead Pokemon, apart from the Lavender Town tombs. But are we to assume every single last Pokemon that's ever died has been buried in Lavender Town? Because there isn't tombstones anywhere else. And if so, it's no wonder that place is haunted as shit. Right. I think the guys who made this game put barriers in place because they haven't actually made any more of it. Okay, everyone. I have the solution. <coughs> Whoa! How did I do that? How did I do that? How did I... How did I do that? Whoa! What the... How did I do... How did I do that? But you, you didn't disable. God fucking damn it! There we go, that's more like it. Actually, wait. Crap, I forgot I was going to show you guys something. <laughs> what I was going to show you... Was this. He made a nice little treehouse for himself up there. So yeah, that's what happened to uh, Red. He hung himself. Or people who made this game just stuck him in a tree for some reason. You know, I've come for a reason why fighting is so ineffective against flying types. 
Have you ever tried to punch a bird? Like, why it's flying? I'm not talking about you get it in a cage or you just hold it down and start punching it. Even though that is a very enjoyable activity. God damn it, Ratatata! Hiya! And you're dead. Seriously, why? Oh look, there's a human who's much bigger than me and has a whole bunch of monsters. The thing is, with Pokemon, in any other world, they'd be casting up swords and shields and killing these things and calling them monsters. Okay, let's continue. Whoa, what's this guy say? Oh, Pragon. I'm glad I caught you, Professor Oak's aid. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. Pragon received the running shoes from aid. Pragon switched shoes with the running shoes. What do I do with my other shoes? Just toss them. Press the B button to run, but only where there's room to run. Well, I must be going back to the lab. Ba -ba! <laughs> <laughs> Mortals. There's a letter attached. Dear Pragon, here's a pair of running shoes from my beloved challenger. Remember, I always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. From mum. More like my beloved challenge child. I can now run. <laughs> Oh god, a whole bunch of assholes to fight. Okay, ghost. Time for you to redeem yourself. And the only way to do that is by cursing everyone's souls to a dark oblivion. Go. Excuse me. You looked at me, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I think you did. Okay, we're fighting a prostitute. Las Janes. So that's what they call you in the business. Go choose curse. Whoa! This ghost sure is spooky. It's gonna cast everyone's souls into a dark oblivion apart from it doesn't fucking work! Fine. You know what, Sig? You deal with these assholes. Sig doesn't let us down. Sig knows where it's at. Sig is a hardcore motherfucking baller. Sig's attack missed. That's all for one episode. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Whoever you are, whatever you're doing, you're awesome. Have an awesome day.